Hello everyone, I'm Ron and in this video I'll be showing you the Mumbai to Delhi flight operated by Jet Airways. I was traveling in business class and took the opportunity to shoot some clips of the whole experience. So before we begin, a reminder to subscribe to the channel, it's the Venus Live Studio YouTube channel and you're watching Ron Reviews. So my seat was 6A, which was a window seat. There were 9 rows of seats in the business class section with each row having 4 seats, 2 on either side. The aircraft was a B737-800-900. Now what I've noticed is that generally the Mumbai to Delhi flights have more business class passenger seats than the flights operating from Delhi to Mumbai. The flight was on time departing at 1pm with a scheduled arrival into New Delhi at 3.15pm. However, the in-flight time was close to 1 hour and 50 minutes. The seat was very comfortable and very wide, had a small pillow on it for back support. I'm 5 feet and 6 inches tall and there was more leg room even after I stretched my legs to the fullest. There was a button on the left arm of the seat to make it recline at an angle of 30 degrees approximately. Looking at the contents of the seat pocket, there was an air sickness bag, a placard with instructions to download the Airtime Player app which can be used to view the in-flight entertainment streamed by Jet Airways over Wi-Fi. Then there was a Jetwings magazine and a newspaper from Hindustan Times. They have a separate menu printed for the business class passengers which is also present in the seat pocket along with a small bottle of water. The menu on this flight had a salad option with the choice of three main course dishes, among which only one was vegetarian. There were choices of breads, desserts and beverages also present in the menu. Before the flight took off, the hostess came down to the seat to take the order of the meal of choice. I ordered the chicken and soya pepper sauce along with a coke. Before the flight took off, the hostess also gave me a cold towel to freshen up, which was indeed very nice. It was pretty noisy inside with the security briefing as it was the time for the flight to take off. This is your seatbelt to fasten and insert the metal cable into the bundle and tighten buckle in the strap to unfasten, lift the flap and pull the ends apart. You are advised to keep your seatbelts fastened throughout the flight. Should there be a drop in cabin pressure, oxygen mask will drop down from the panel above you. Remain seated and pull it sharply towards you to activate the flow of oxygen. Place the mask away nose and mouth and breathe normally. Secure your own mask before assisting your child, infant to others. There are two emergency exits located at the rear, four over the wings and two at the front of the aircraft. Low path emergency lighting system flicked on the floor will guide you to the nearest exit. From row 1 to 7, your light jacket will pouch under your center armrest and 10 to 43 in a pouch under your seat. In a water evacuation, slip it over your head and secure straps around your waist. Life jacket should be inflated only at the exit. Pull the tank firmly to inflate your life jacket automatically. To inflate it manually, blow to the tube. There's a water activated light for attracting attention. A safety instruction card is placed in the seat pocket in front of you. Please read it carefully. Thank you for your attention. Ladies and gentlemen, in preparation to take off, may we request you to place all hand baggage in the overhead compartment or under the seat in front of you. Keep your seat back up right, store your tray tables and fasten your seat belt. You are required to put your mobile phones and tablet in flight mode. However, all other electronic devices should be switched off. During the flight, to protect your electronic device from falling into the seat mechanism where they may be damaged. We recommend that you secure them in the seat pocket or in the overhead compartment. For your information, consumption of alcohol, smoking and use of e-cigarettes is not permitted on this flight. Smoke detectors are installed in all the washroom. Thank you for your attention. Ladies and tampering of the life jacket or its removal from the aircraft without the authorization of the cabin crew is strictly prohibited and is a punishable act. Now the business class passengers have one washroom just reserved for them, that is in the front of the aircraft. The size of the washroom is the same as the one at the back of the aircraft, which is for the economy class passengers. It was now time to land and mind you, it was a pretty smooth landing.
That's it folks for this video. Thank you for watching it. Do subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already. It is the Venus Live Studio YouTube channel. This is Ron signing off. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.